Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am excited to show you what I've been working on. They are faux jewelry cards. And I thought you might like to see my spin on it. I've seen a lot of them on YouTube lately and I just added my own take. And so I thought I would just share that with you. They're all a little different and I think that's great. So then you can use what you have and you can make, you can improvise and make something with what you have. So I'm just gonna put these over here. Maybe outline my frame a little bit so you can see what we're working on and so you'll see what what you can do like I said they're all a little different and so um, you can use your own things so the video I watched and I'll try to link it below she used handmade paper for the back which I do not have. I don't work with handmade paper. Um, the closest I got was this um, watercolor paper, and this is a cheaper one. I got it from Walmart. And I have some smaller ones here, but I found I really liked working with the ones that were a little bit longer. So longer and narrower. Depending on which way you tear it, you get a more interesting edge. So there's that. All right. I need to do this one as well. And then I'm going to fold the top over about half an inch. Now, the tutorial I watched, she used um, really pretty scrapbook paper for that inside part. But I still have a lot of this um, faux rice paper that I made. And while I was looking for some really pretty scrapbook paper, I came across the and instantly I thought it would be really nice. And I'm loving it. I mean, just look how the background there makes the whole thing pop. And I have these little paper hearts in here. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller than the background. I'm not measuring. You saw me try to measure my journal the other day. It just wasn't a great accomplishment as far as I was concerned. So no measuring for these. Just eyeballing it and then making the inside a little bit smaller than the back. And I'm not inking these either. So there, for those of you that don't like to ink, you might like this. What I like about this project is that the, the brightness of it actually lifts it up. So, okay, so that's the background. Then for this part here that says for you, you could use vellum, you could use tracing paper. That's what this is. You could totally leave that out. 
um, the tutorial I watched, she put the person's name on there because she was making like this gift thing and um, she knew who she wanted to give it to. So she had names on her strips and I thought that's great but we make a lot of our journals for people that we don't necessarily know ahead of time. And two, you don't want to give out personal information all the time. So um, I just put the for you strip in there. So what I did, and I think I thought, I think I might try something else this time. Um, I don't really have anything else see-through. The tag here is supposed to allow for the background to show through. So what I might still do is take a piece of um, tracing paper, which is what this is. Let's cut out a strip. And then, instead of for you, maybe put the word precious. It helps if you have nice handwriting, but I think if you just try to print neatly, it should work. Okay. So there's that. And then I just want to tuck it into the corner here. And then I'm going to take my glue and start gluing just the top gluing it into the top part. It doesn't have to be super strong because um, it's not holding a lot. So I just sandwich that in there. And then I'm going to add glue to both the front and the back on here. Like so. And then we can add just a little bit of glue to the top flap to keep the whole thing together. Alright, so I'm just going to clamp this for a second. while I get my other stuff ready. All right, so I am experimented with this um, blue glitter and I made the wax seals. Now, if you don't have a wax seal and you can't make something to dangle, you could use a button. Um, you could make a button out of paper and then attach it through the hole. That would work. Um, what else could you do? You could cut a circle out of pretty paper. I feel like I don't really have any pretty paper here. However, I do have the circle. It's from the top of one of my thread spools. So if you didn't have a wax seal, you could probably use something like that with a nicer picture. I mean, choose what you want and then poke a hole in it and then use that as a dangle. I think that would look pretty. Like I said, originally the tutorial I watched, she had pretty scrapbook paper as a background. So I, I know I have some, I just haven't looked for it. So. Anyways, what I thought I would do is try it with this blue one. And so I need a hole. So 
So I'm using my, I think it's a 1 8 inch punch. And I confess it's a little hard for me to even line it up. Now you want it a little bit close to the edge because um, I'm going to use a jump ring. Now, I know not everybody has jump rings, but I bought these not really knowing what I was going to use them for. And now that I have them, I love using them and I, I'm so glad I invested in them. So there's that. So then I'm going to put the jump ring through there. Now, if you don't have a jump ring, um, you could, I guess, just skip this part. If you have, um, I don't know, maybe a key ring. Like I said, this is where you sometimes have to improvise and find what you do have. And I found that it's really easy to wreck your nails with said jump ring. All right, so I'm gonna grab my inappropriate tweezers because tweezers pliers they're not exactly the right thing for faux jewelry anyway so there I have my jump ring and I wanted to show you this one because what I used here was just a paper clip and it's a two inch one. So all I did was I took it and I opened it. So now these two pieces here that are open, like the ends, they cross over. So you have like a wonky, a wonky shaped heart. And so I'm just going to put this in here like so, and that's going to be my front now. So then I have this ready, and then I can just put those backings to the other side and what I also did was I kind of bent it a little bit because for me what the most fun is about these things should I tell you <laughs> you know what the most fun is that sound That's my favorite. It's the sound that the chain makes on the back. Okay. So there's that. And somehow I have to fiddle with the bending of it because you still want it to hold the thing down a bit. That should work. As you can see, that one protrudes a little bit too. Okay, now for the wax seal, what I did here, I I used my gilding, my gilding wax. Luster wax by Sizzix. And let me close that because I already spilled a whole bunch of them once. Um, I think there's a thousand pieces in here and I got it on Amazon. Not a big amount. And so I need something to apply. A Q-tip would work really well. 
but I don't really have one here. So I'm just going to use my finger like I did last time, which didn't turn out the greatest, but anyways, I'm just dabbing it this time. Last time I smeared it. I think this will actually give me a better result. This looks like it might be shinier. And two, I think silver, silver anything. For this silver, I used a, a pen that is glue. This deco foil, I, and it's an adhesive pen. A little bit pricey, but that's what I had, so I used that. And then I used silver foil to get that. Um, I decided I like this project so much and I want to make more of them. So I'm actually ordering um, a silver, like a chrome pen. And so that's that. But these are quite nice. So you could write other things. You could put a verse in. Um, you could, I don't know, you think of something. So that is kind of what I had. And then too, I was thinking for this one here where I used the, what is this, the bulb pin? Um, in fact, I was also thinking of these cute little paper clips. Um, let me see what else. The bulb pins. I was thinking like these would these look like pendants to me almost. But if you wanted to, you could easily use two bulb pins and do like a set of earrings. And again, it wouldn't have to be wax seals. You could use whatever object. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. See, it has a little bit of a design on there. I was gonna use it to make a tab, but, and you can do whatever size. I mean, I think I have an inch one here. Might be too thick. Oh, yeah, that doesn't really wanna. But never mind. We still have something called scissors. And you can obviously make it the perfect shape scissor. Or you might have one of those machines that cuts circles for you. Then, the same idea with the um, hole punch. Like so. And then you could Put it on there like so. And then put that in there. And then you could make matching ones and you could have earrings. Um, maybe you have some cute paper clips and you want a way to show them off. Do something like that. Anyway, so there's so many possibilities for this project. And I just couldn't keep it to myself. I had to share. So I will try to link that other tutorial. Do you like the blue? I think it would have been nicer in silver, but that's 
That's me. I have this thing about blue and silver. There you go. That is today's project, and I hope you enjoyed that, and I do hope that you'll consider giving it a try. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.